you're very dependent in many ways on Michael for this very special sound that you have, or would you consider uh, letting somebody else write for you and produce you? No, I think the best way is to, uh, to work, work together with Michael because he knows me very well and he knows my voice, he knows what it fits very good for me and um, he knows when I'm singing very high he can't take some keyboards or some special sound on the voice because it compares to to good together and then it sounds not very well and so the whole album, not especially that song, has a uh, has one stylistic, stylistic you know, mm. that's very good and I'm I always said I will never lose my winning team <laughs> and um, I like it to work with him together so he's also my husband and we live together we have we are um, working in our own studio and so why should I change that uh, the album is called paintings in yellow yes uh, why has it got that title uh, it seems to be a very special theme because it turns up again in the song the journey as well yes no it was not just only uh, paintings in yellow it uh, it has a little bit more, it's also Hiroshima in it and um, we just decided to call it like that because it was an idea where we got in the car and it always sounds very well, paintings in yellow and I like the color yellow very much it's very hopeful for me and very uh, um, what also for the album, you know, I need that and very warm, like the album is and like each song is and each song we thought about a lot um, like like a painter who is painting a picture mm. so we said it's a good idea to call it paintings in yellow I'm glad you said that the album is warm I was also going to call it very optimistic a yes, song like right. uh, life may be a, a big insanity, insanity for example is yeah. a good example yes of right yes right so you I love that maybe it will get a new single mm. now after Hiroshima but I think it will get it we will see are you an optimistic sort of person? Yes, yes. Even a song like um, Johnny Wanna Live? Yes. Uh, that is obviously representing something. Is it animal rights or something like that? That's a special story with, with that song. It, this is one of my favorite of this album. And I loved the lyrics so much. And I will tell you why, why I did that. Um, I had some ideas because in September I will go on a big European concert tour and I talked to my manager and I said please for the bills I will get it standing upstairs um, nobody has to come in who is wearing fur so I said that's a good idea you please do that and the press and all the people they know that and they phoned me and they would like to have interviews with me about that story and I said why it's just it's for me, it was just normal, a normal thing. And then I said to Michael, let's do a song, because we, we, it was in the middle of the time from the album. And, I said, and I said, then I said, let's do a song. And um, I went to Klaus, I mean, Klaus went to us because he was living there, the whole album, this whole five months. And I said, um, please let's think about what we can do about this story. I would like to have that everything what I mean is coming in and it means Johnny want to live it's not just one uh, animal it stands for every creature's pain and I said please we must do it all in one in one uh, song and then he said that's difficult to do it but he made it great mm -hmm. and I love that song so much and especially the lyrics uh, are you still doing your own jewelry um, no, not yet, not anymore. I have at home full sacks. It's a sack, a lot of sack, um, how does it called in English? Yeah, um, sacks or baskets. Sack, basket, yeah. yeah, full of jewelries and I don't know what I should do with them. And the time changed a little bit because um, I, I don't like it anymore to wear so much jewelries. Uh, I mean, modern jewelries. Mm -hmm. And um, I prefer to 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 also with the clothes to look more normally and they don't like earrings anymore it sounds like that you know you change after a couple of years and um, so I decided to put that away and now I will do a new collection for children clothes for children children so is that what you're doing uh, in between takes in the studio and things to sort of occupy yourself with now no it's 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 just in between you know sometimes when I have a little bit time I think about and 
um, Michael and all the other ones told me, every time when we are going to a children's shop, you stay and you look. And that's right, because I love that very pretty and sweet small children clothes. I love that. Mm -hmm. And um, then Michael said, why do you don't do it by your own? And I have so a lot of ideas. And I try to do it. I don't find uh, yet a person who will do it with me together, but I'm painting already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when, can we see some, when can we see some results of that? I don't know, maybe in one or in two years I will see. How would you describe yourself this very special sound that you have? Because, I mean, as soon as you hear sounds, you know it's you. Yeah, it's maybe my voice and the good production of Michael. Because um, um, when I sing a, another song with words, completely another production on it, it always sounds like my song because my voice is very special and nobody exists who is singing nearly like me. And you always, when you listen one ton from me, you know that's Sandra. And that's my good thing, you know. And um, that's why it's ever, it's ever sound like me, like Sandra. And the production from Michael, he also has his own um, handwriting always mm. and um, I think it will always it, it gets better and better from year to year you get more practice you get more um, new ideas new inspiration and so it's always nearly that sound I can't remember I, I mean I can't uh, explain on this album it's it's uh, it's more like the 70s and we put much more guitar on it like um, all the other LPs um, I don't know why, but um, when we listen to the music, I said to Michael, please, why do we don't do more uh, um, guitar on it? And Michael said, yes, acoustic guitar will be very nice for you. And then we find a very good player. And he was there, and then we said, do it on this, do it on this. We try, and what we like, we, we let it on the album, and what not, we put it away, you know. And so it changed a little bit. There's so much competition today, so many new singers and everything coming along all the time, but you're still as popular as surviving. Yes. What do you think uh, mostly accounts for the fact that you so survived so well after five years now? It's, uh, um, I think it's uh, because of the good team. We are, very, we are working very professional. Our life is music. We don't have any private life. We have very good management, very, very good record company. We are all friends together and um, there is never a fight and um, so there when there are questions we always talk about all the problems we are very open i understand a lot of uh, critique and um, I, we always get new ideas and maybe that's why i'm born in saarbrücken in germany uh -huh, I thought you but were... i have a french passport so my father is french yeah your family your parents are from my from father is is French, I French, and my mother is German. Do you feel a little bit French through your father? Yeah, half half. Mm. Yeah. And you speak French? No. So you don't speak French? No. Are, how uh, are things for you in France? Uh, are you very popular there as well? Well. Sell a lot of records in France? In France, yeah, yeah that's my biggest country. It's the biggest. And yes, mm. after France it comes Germany. But um, France is the biggest country. country. I got there also double platinum. You lived in London for a while? Yeah, six, five months. And you, I read somewhere you started to learn drumming. To play a little the drums bit, there. yeah. How is it going? Good. Yeah? No, I, I just did it not for to uh, play drums on stage. I just did it um, all for me. I just did it for to get another rhythm feeling when I'm singing songs. It was very important to do that. And um, I liked it very well very much and I have it already at home my octopad and I'm playing sometimes can you play any other instruments no when I was a child I learned a little bit guitar mm. but um, I never was very interesting in instruments I always were on singing 